Hey, what's happening, YouTube family? Uh, I was out here working on the Black Knight the other day, adding a new pogo stick to hold on, you know, to my airlines and the, and the, and the electric line. And um, I noticed that my airline had cracked. Anyway, you know, I was working on the flatbed and I was hooked up to it and I could hear air going to the tank, but the airbags would never inflate. Uh, but the brakes, when I would hit the, hit the pedal, the brakes would actuate. So I said, you know, maybe just stuff in there. Kept working on it, kept working on it, didn't think nothing of it. Then I hooked up to an old 1969 Great Dane trailer. And, uh, you know, connected to it, no problem. Backed under it, good. Pushing the labors, air seemed, seemed to work. I went to pull off and the brakes were locked up, but, you know, that, I don't know how long that trailer had been sitting, 10, 10 plus years. So it, it dragged a little while. Then they went ahead and broke loose and were rolling, but I only moved the trailer about maybe 30 feet. But when I hit the brake, the pedal would jump and I could hear air releasing. Well, I just figured it was a busted line on the trailer or something. So again, didn't think nothing of it. Uh, then I bought a dump trailer and I'll have a video of that here shortly. But I'm coming down the road again, hooked up to the trailer, no issues, all the lights work. Uh, again, the, the brakes were initially locked, uh, but once I let the pressure build up, they released, came on down the road, trailer pulled fine. But again, when I would step on the brake, I, the pedal would jump and I'd hear air releasing. I was like, dang, this trailer is messed up. You know, thinking maybe uh, the bladder inside the uh, brake chamber w was, was messed up or something. But made it to the house, back to drop the trailer. And I was like, well, you know, that's another brake chamber. I might have to go and repair. But anyway, I, I get back to the house and then decide to put on a new pogo stick as I'm fighting with these lines to get them in this little bracket right here. I look down and notice that sure enough, this had cracked. So this had been my problem all along. I think the trailers are okay. I'm gonna go back down there and hook up to them. But, you know, it's the little things. I would have never thought that my lines, when I pull my gooseneck, I don't use the air lines. Uh, you know, it's this electric trailer I'd based on my pickup truck. Um, but with these things here, it's always something. So today, um, since this one was busted, I figured the emergency line probably won't be long before it goes as well. So I'm gonna replace both of them, put all new airlines on there and um, hook up to these trailers and see what I get from there. Here's the old pogo stick. You see the tree was knocked off of it, so that didn't do me any good. And it was just sitting there. And uh, like I said, he just had the, the lines wrapped up and held down with um, bungee cords. And uh, we're really doing a whole lot for me. So I, like I, said, I got a new one out of the tree, got a little bracket. Uh, we still get the holder, and I may reposition this. I'll see how it does uh, with the trailers once I get them on there.
challenge. Make sure you put the red back on top, back where you took the red from. And these fittings are just put on there with zip ties. I'm going to change that and make them a fixed mount. Once I get my trailer combination set. Clearance that one.
Now we got our lines connected. We just take the old flat hand, put them on the new fitting. Again, they're color coded. So, and I know most of you folks know that, but just in case if somebody's out there new to the game, they're color coded. So you keep the red with your red and the blue with your blue. And this one, it's okay, but I'll probably go ahead and get a new glad hand and replace this old one, keep this as a spare. Tighten it as tight as you can tighten it. Now the hoses, you know, you can throw away or repurpose them, but keep all your old fittings. I can't tell you how many times I've been stuck on the side of the road or out in the middle of the field somewhere and can't go nowhere for lack of a fitting. So take those old ones out and put them in a box somewhere or keep them on the truck.
we'll just drag it down lower. If I had straight airlines, really uh, these are most effective with that uh, to keep them up off with these coils. I don't need to bring them way up to the top like this. But I don't want them hanging down and bouncing and fall down, wrapped around that axle. So I'll still use this, to keep them up off the chassis of the truck. Another option is add a spring between here and here. Not a lot on the stretch as well. But the main thing is to keep them off the chassis from falling down and getting wrapped around that action. So there's new pogo stick and new airlines for the Black Knight. Uh, that's not a finished product. I'm gonna still work with it. Once I get my different trailer combinations between the dump trailer, a low boy, my flatbed, and then whatever else, uh, I'll see how it works and see what other options or what other issues I run into uh, with the different trailer types and get the wet line kit installed. Uh, that may change all my hookups around.